Yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo, what's going on, Calabria Crystal Guardians? Uh, I know y'all been missing me for a couple of days. This is not my dog. This is uh, a friend of my dog. But we're going to use whatever we can for summoning luck. Need some luck today, guys. Need some luck today. Y'all haven't seen me the last couple of days simply because, uh, one, you know, I'm a real estate agent. I was supposed to do a closing yesterday. Oh, today. I was supposed to do a closing today. It didn't happen. So we got to wait to figure out when we're going to do the next closing. Then I had a contract that fell through. So kind of been a bummer day. Even went to drinking. I don't even drink. Anybody who knows me would know one thing I don't do is drink. I had to go get me a Heineken today. Uh, Heineken, if you want to sponsor me. Uh, I guess green bottle don't show up great on green screen, right? Cool. So, um, what am I trying to thought? Yeah. So, haven't been able to do videos to, uh, the last couple of days because running around trying to get things closed with real estate. Also, my daughter's mom was doing breast cancer and she finally did her surgery last week. So, she's in the recovery phase. So, therefore, it was a successful surgery. So, uh, she's currently uh, beating breast cancer. Shout out to all those who have uh, know somebody or had to deal with breast cancer. So, Keeping my daughter for the last couple of days, she just wouldn't let me record. She just wouldn't. Oh, but that's the life of a one-year-old, right? She loved her daddy. So what I did was I bought me some packs and bought some rage packs, and we're going to do some rage summons. So we're going to talk about what's going on with uh, Calibria going forward, events, stuff like that. But for those who clicked on the video just to see a uh, summoning session and so they can go about their life and not watch the rest of the video, I'm going to do the summoning first because uh, you deserve it, right? So let's go ahead and get the summoning done first so you can just not hear me ramble and talk about random things that you don't care about. And once again, I'm just looking to finish my archive. And what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about progression in the game. We're going to talk about progression in the game and what you should really focus on to get to end game. So for those who want to stay around to talk uh, to hear my thoughts, my honest, humble opinion on progression in the game, stay around and stick through for that. For those who just want to watch the summoning video, let's begin. Uh, rage packed and bought me what you know what 40 you think 40 should do it I'm um, at for uh, whatever we buy another pack if need be right so Archangel sorry Fallen Angel it's an Archangel Fallen Angel and um, Ironheart that's what I'm missing let's go back let's just check that so I'm missing Fallen Angel and Ironheart. Cool. So I said before, for those who stick around, we're gonna talk about the the nerf or sorry the fix to Master Dao. Ten point summons. So before Ironheart, Fallen Angel. No. Of course not. Let's do some single pulls down to whatever. Man, I have not been getting anything lately. Uh, I am. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all think I'm just throwing hype out there, but you have no idea how thankful I was that Black and Bear summer for me, because my luck really has not been the greatest right now. So if it wasn't for him, I probably would not have Master Dow. So I'm appreciative of that right there. Man, let's go. Let's try to skip some of these. 10 pull, we do the next 10 pull, 10 singles and see what we come up with. <sighs> Elven Queen, you think I'd be more happy, but the reality of the situation is like, I got like a, a, a harem full of Elven Queen, you know what I'm saying, for each castle that I have. I got one for the North Castle, the West Castle, the South Castle, so it is what it is. So there you go. If you came for the summon, you saw that I did another Elven King. I am the master of dupes. When I say the master of dupes, I am the master. I actually need her. If you don't have a Wisp, aka uh, NT Gamer um, girlfriend, 
You need to summon one. I promise you. She is deadly in arena. And we're going to go over that after the video. I mean, after the summoning session also. We're going to go over that. New heroes are coming to the game. New heroes are coming to the game. We're waiting for the devs to... Oops. Waiting for the devs to release uh, the roadmap. There's some good, exciting things coming through. I guess we could talk about that right now for those who's watching the video. Um, you know me, I'm very skeptical when they tell us that things are in the works. Because in my mind, that means that we're never going to see that again for a while. But this time around, I'm actually going to hold my breath because I think it's not going to be that long for it to actually take place. So, I said before, new units are coming. We're going to do one more rage pack. It's just one of them days. And then once again, if you're new to the game, lesson one, do not, and I promise you, do not buy packs. Your effort should be bought, uh, be done into rooms. You should always focus on rooms, okay? So let's get this summon out of the way. And let's talk about the game and progression. 10? Should we do 10? Let's do 10. Who cares? Oh... Yay, story of my life. But I did get one five star, which uh, beat the odds. I think, I guess, I don't know. Oh, what are we doing? Hold on. Okay. What are we doing? All right, so what am I? 50 away? 50 away from doing a conversion, right? That's way too many packs. I'm not going to waste that much packs. All right, so there you have it. I have what I have, and that's all that I have. I'm Popeye the Stellar Man. Boop, boop. All right, so let's go into progression. So for those who came to see the summon, thank you. God bless you. Have a good night. For those who decide to stay for progression, let's talk about it. So I got hit up on uh, Discord by Void. Uh, shout out to Void for letting me see his account. And... His, playing on others' account, I can see where Spaceball is coming from. Playing on other people's account give you a great perspective on the game. Um, me playing my game, I'm only playing it from my perspective, right? I'm only playing from my perspective. And sometimes you kind of get lost in your shuffle and lost in your ways, right? So he has a, an account that had all the archives complete. The issue with him was rooms. He didn't have the rooms, right? But even without the rooms, he was still able to be top in a re, uh, in Apex, top in World Boss. Like his his achievement with lack of rooms is phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? So it, it made me think to myself that wow, if you're if you're uh, let me go ahead and run some dungeons while I'm here. If he's doing this great with okayish rooms, we talking about five star rooms and stuff like that, right? Five star rooms. And he's doing okay-ish. I mean, I, I'll be honest to say he was doing better than me. You know what I'm saying? I have a concept of the game, but because I'm a content creator, I'm focused is everywhere. So I'm not focused on things as I should be. You know what I'm saying? So that will bring us back to progression in the game. How to get to end game. The first thing that you have to do when it comes to end game is farm runes. At the end of the day, you got to farm rooms. You can summon all day long. You have to farm rooms, okay? You're not going to get all the great rooms. Boy showed me with his account that even if you didn't get some of the greatest rooms out there, you can still do great. So don't beat yourself up because you don't have the most glorious six-star legendary rune that you see other YouTubers or other people have, okay? Wow, what the, what the, hold on, did I change something? Oh, yeah, you're not there. I'm sorry. I'm like, how did I lose? I forgot I changed the team out. My bad. It scared me for a second. What? Somebody text me something on my phone saying, T Noble, Noble, Say, thank you for being a value customer. Click on this to get a prize. First of all, if you can't spell T-Mobile right, please don't text my phone. Are you serious? 
Be a better scammer. Be a be a better scammer. All right, we ain't gonna make this video that long. So you gotta farm your rooms. You gotta farm the system. You gotta farm what needs to be done to go what you need to do. Okay, that's the that's the first thing you have to do. Okay, and what I mean by focus, if you have heroes, right, and we're gonna go over the heroes after this run. If you have heroes, make sure that your heroes you're farming for that hero. Don't farm a dungeon just to farm a dungeon. Okay. That's the last thing you want to do. You don't want to farm a dungeon to be farming a dungeon. I'm showing this run to show him the power of uh, Cleo maxed out. Because I was telling him that he has a Cleo, but if he has his Cleo maxed out, this is why Cleo don't fail. Because she's going to turn cycle enough to where she's going to uh, revive the team just in the nick of time to just kill the boss. Okay? So that's what it is. But for instance, if you're looking, for instance, Miss Cleo, and you need Berserk runes, you need to be in Leviathan farming Berserk runes all the time. If you have, but if you don't have a Cleo, what's the point of farming a Leviathan, right? Farm to what heroes you have. Don't farm things just to farm things. Conflict runes are great, but conflict runes are only for PvP content, okay? It's not going to give you a lick of heads good in the PvP side of the house. When you start doing your arenas and stuff like that, I promise you, conflict runes will not get you far. And you're going to sit there beating yourself up in the head of... My rune quality and my conflict runes are great. Let me tell you this. You have to rune up your entire team on conflict rune to basically get the same value of if you just do one set on your damage dealer monster with fight sets. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't equate. It just don't equate. Goes out of this. So when you farm, please do this. It's going to be probably a lengthy video, but I, I hope this gets to everybody. This is my heroes, right? I have a lot of attack type monsters, right? So it behooves me to farm Colossal. It behooves me to farm Colossal because I need damage on my heroes. This damage that you see on um, Eve right now, this could be a lot more phenomenal and make my dungeon runs a lot more uh, efficient if she's on fight set instead of this right here. This is just something that I threw together to get the stats. But realistically speaking, I could be a lot more deadly if I'm using um, a fight set. Uh, where we go? Yeah, if I'm using a fight set, I could do be a lot more deadly. You know what I'm saying? Because then I could ignore 15% of the enemy's defense and still have more attacks to me. And you know, he is one of the hardest hitting mofocos in this game. So look at the heroes that you have and focus on just that farming. Don't jump around from dungeon to dungeon to dungeon trying to farm dungeon. Stick to it. If you're doing if you're doing uh lair, you need to farm lair until you have a set on every single one of your lair monster team. Every single lair monster that you're running, every single one need to be in a lair set. So you start farming lair when you have great runes for every monster on your lair team. If you're farming uh, Hydra, look, the Bone King needs that destruction set. He needs that destruction set. As you can see, my Bone King is at 190 crit damage, right? My set, my room set, let's go into it real quick. I'm not sure what it is. I have 13% crit damage. I mean, I need to farm a rune that could take place of that 13% crit damage. You know what I'm saying? I need a, a minimum 25 crit damage on that, that slot. So I need to farm, farm, farm until I get a slot 3, I mean a slot 5 rune that could be 25% crit damage. And if I could do better with it, I can. Of course, 4 don't mean nothing. This is 12. That's too low. So that's the goal I'm saying about being focused. Focus on really farming to get your heroes to a certain level. So that's the main point I want to bring out to everybody when it comes to the difference between beginner, mid, and end game is once you get to end game level, your rune set is supposed to be on point. And it can't be on point if you're running around trying to farm everything, okay?
there is a event going on that wants you to craft rooms, right? And the general consensus is is a meh event, right? It's a meh eh event. Now, if you're farming, this is a great event. And I'm going to tell you why it's a great event. I think on the last video I showed and I had a, a Debbie Downer feeling on the, the event. I'm telling you that you, the money that you're, when you convert, you could spend, you could get more money farming Cali Knight and selling the rooms than you can changing them to Heroic. You know what I'm saying? And that's the truth. I can't change the concept on that. But when you're looking to be end game, you're going to need some legendary rooms. You're going to need some legendary rooms. I'm, I'm just telling you, partner, you're going to need some legendary rooms to be in the top level. This game is growing. And when they start growing more and more, and you, they decided sometime in the future to release uh, Arena, it's going to be hard for a lot of y'all to compete in Arena. A blue star rune, a rare rune, is not going to carry you far. No matter what you get on your stats, uh, let me show you this right here. 14 speed, yay. Let's go on this one right here. Ooh, 15 speed. Decent. But these are speed that could be uh, HP. These are speed that could uh, be a lot more if I'm doing with Legend Set. You know what I'm saying? These are speed that could do a lot more if I'm doing with Legend Set. So, please focus on just one dungeon. A dungeon should be formed for a month at a time. You shouldn't be looking at no other dungeon until you farm the crap out of any dungeon that you're in a month at a time. If you're in Colossal, that Colossal is supposed to be farmed every day, all day for a month. I don't care what goes on. I don't know what's coming up. You just farm the crap out of that. Use this event to convert all your blues to heroic. Seem pointless? I know. But the crap, uh, the, 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 what's going to happen is this event going to keep coming around. And after you make so many different purples, the next time the event comes around, all those purples now become legendary. Does that make sense? Check yes, no. My military side. So it is good to actually convert these things. Yes, you're not getting the Cali Knight that you want. And if you don't have the Cali Knight, the argument is you can't upgrade the rune. So what's the point, right? No, you stack the runes. Once you're farming, the Cali Knight will come. I promise you. Sell all your five-star runes. The Cali Knight will come. I, so... Where do you get the Kalianite to upgrade his runes? You're going to get it because you're farming. And you're going to farm, farm, farm. And you're only going to now upgrade runes if you're mid-game, purple, and legendary. Some blue, but you're going to try to avoid those as much as possible. Why? Because you now have your team set. You farm so much the way you have a team set. And you're just farming now to replace one rune at a time. Not a whole team, okay? Um, that's end game. Um, let me showcase a, a nice thing you could do with Cleo. My Cleo is not tanky. I need my Cleo to be as tanky as possible, but she's not tanky. This is where farming come into play, right? I need to farm more berserk room, but this is, Ooh, Ooh, I'm going to actually use these haters right here. So let's go here and put the guy that nobody likes to see in the mix. Um, here we go. Uh, and Master Dow, since he's supposed to be fixed. Now, I'm actually looking forward to Master Dow being fixed. Because when I look at it and when I see what he does, he his defense break is not the gold standard for me. I wanted him to actually do what he said, which is give the damage, two times damage, just by, uh, man. Uh, we don't care. You know what? I don't know about ignoring defense on that one. So let's do you. Nope, didn't work. Ah, uh, who cares? Anybody that could use? No, nope. okay, good. Let's kill you. Let's protect me. Mm. 
the point of the chicken is to stop the healing from going down, but they had immunity on them. Everybody got immunity on them, so it's pointless. <sighs> but I already knew they was going to try to attack uh, my Cleo, because they're Cleo haters. But you could attack Cleo all day long if you want, but Cleo will do what she do. So this is what a max star Cleo could do in Arena. She just calls you to just bring back teams, especially when she's tanky, and just kill. Yeah, whatever. I'm the only one that don't have uh, Astro. Defense break. So he shouldn't be able to do that much damage to me. Defense break. He can do that much damage to me. Protection. So before, she's not as tanky as I want her to be, but she does do a good job. Defense break. Nope. Flame on. And whatever. And that's the point of Miss uh, Cleo Void in um, Arena. All right. So back on my soapbox. This is great. This is a nice little team to use. Because as long as Miss Cleo is... Uh, Cleopatra said Miss Cleo. As long as Miss Cleo is tanky as crap with immune system on or immunity on her, man, she just keep reviving the team and just making sure that you go high in the arena. For those out there looking for a nice arena team and they got Miss Cleo, okay? But she has to be maxed out. She gotta be maxed out. So um Master Dow is supposed to be fixed. Let's go review Master Dow. From what I see based on his skill set, this right here is what they're trying to fix because it's supposed to not ignore defense and is ignoring defense. But I'd rather this happening. Enemy that are slowed by this attack would take two times the damage. I don't see that happening. So if they fix this and make this actually work, I'm going to actually have a faster team because once he puts slow on the team, two times the damage, imagine if Bone King goes after and then is doing his ignore defense and plus his massive damage because he's on a crit bill and Eve, I'm able to do a lot more damage that way. So I'm happy that this is going to be fixed. Also, if you have him in lair and he goes first and put the slow on the boss, that means that uh, Athena goes through, it's supposed to be one shot the boss automatically. But right now, with ignore defense, he caused the boss to jump too quickly to where your team can't do what they need to do. So I'm waiting for this to be fixed so I can have faster team. Uh, not to beat a dead horse, uh, what we got going on? Events. You need to start hoarding for your events um start working on things that you need to do rune farming is most important but you also need to start uh getting your characters up and ready because eventually i can't tell you when so don't hold me to this right eventually rta is going to come rta comes in every game give me a game out there rta comes in every single game is going to come in this one also okay so with that being said you need to focus on uh getting the room set for your monsters okay next i want to talk about is world boss so let's go to the spreadsheet all right so here is the spreadsheet for world boss akia started this what the four uh basically uh went through did some testing and these are the numbers uh brought to you by what the fall okay if you have not been subscribed, I'm actually going to, I've never been on Twitch before, but I promise you I will be on Twitch be, before the end of this week in order to support What The Fall because he is doing a lot for the gaming community, okay? So, this is how your rune should be done, okay? When dealing with attack type monsters, I put these things in there, right? Let's delete these right here. So, these are the multipliers, give or take a few, that goes with the monsters, if you're doing world boss, you may say you have crit damage, but is crit damage in slot four better than attack in slot four? Well, here's the formula. Let's do the numbers. You are a boss. You are the greatest guy ever to farm all the runes, and you managed to get 300 crit damage. That is the total that you're going to hit the world boss for based on your crit damage. 19,200. 
all right you just mediocre and you just got a attack room most attack type monster is about 1800 when it, i mean 1800 when it comes to attack and you put your slot attack two and three on there so now that brings you up to about three thousand so your attack monster is about four thousand see the difference an attack slot four would give you more damage than a crit damage room does that make any does that give y'all any indication how you should move right now your attack slot runes should give you more damage than a crit damage room Let's say the most you could get is crit rate. So now you got crit rate. Let's go you into crit rate. The most you get is 100. The game maxed out at 100. That's 8,000 versus uh, 23,000. So when it comes to world boss, you need to focus in slot four for your world boss units. Now, when you're talking about your arena units and your dungeons units, that has to be different. That's why having dupes in the game are so important, and that's why you actually have to actually build your dupes, okay? These are the stats, and you can play with this all, all day, every day. Uh, you can get defense up to, say, 3,000 on a defense unit. That's still 1,700 versus 300, and nobody has, I mean, only a few people probably would have that right there. Most people are dealing with 210 crit damage. Some, I would say, two, 280 crit damage the defense is a little bit higher but i did just did a mediocre defense and to show you how because nine times the ten if you're dealing with a defense unit they're already at 15 uh 1500 and you just got to double that and nine thousand ten you probably end up being two thousand so you end up being about three thousand five hundred at minimum for your defense unit i don't think there's no anybody out there with a weaker defense unit than that but it's just to show you the number wise, this is what take place whenever you are looking at world boss and how to actually do damage to the world boss team. So hopefully this, I'm going to leave this on the screen for a little bit. You can copy this down, put in a world sheet formula, and you can actually mimic how you want things to be done when it comes to world boss. Okay, so let's leave that one alone. And we're back to the game. So. Right now, there is a free chance for you to do Vapor Dreamland. When it reset, a lot of people rush to do Vapor Dreamland, and um, you spend a lot of crystals, a lot of gems, a lot of refresh to complete Vapor Dreamland. Uh, wait till the free day of Vapor Dreamland before you rush. You save yourself not only precious gems, but you also save yourself precious energy also, okay? These are things that's going to be needed for room farming. So when Vapor Dreamland reset, take into account that you just have to wait a while. And then when the free day comes out, use that free day. Be efficient and effective in what you do in this game to become number one. So these are the things that you just need to do to be number one in the game. Focus on room. Each room, each room farming should be a month until your the unit that you know for a fact that you're going to take over to arena is maxed out to the best of your ability not just mediocre runes you know what a mediocre runes look like you need to max them out to the best of your ability two when it comes to world boss do not put crit damage or crit attack or anything in there anything besides those two is a lot better than any of those things so hp defense uh even on attack units all these things is going to be a lot um more efficient than if you put crit damage crit rate on slot four uh three is the event go ahead and convert all your runes to purple you hear it here first i was against it at first but guess what if you keep doing that eventually you're going to have a whole bunch of purple runes to turn into legendary the next time the event comes around okay and uh work on team synergy i see a lot of teams in arena that's the same thing so ashura is on almost every team now along with elven queen some of your best units don't have to be five stars. At the end of the day, she, on her skill three, dispel all buffs. So therefore, when Elven Queen put up all those things whatsoever, if she's going right next, she gets to dispel all the buff. This is a nat four unit. I haven't seen that many uh, units in the game that can dispel all the enemy's buff. 
this is a staple in your team. You need to go ahead and have this built for your attack. Not on your defense, but on your um your attack, okay? And she's going to be helpful when it comes forward to uh Arena if it ever comes out. I do believe that it will, but if it, you know, but when it does come out, this is going to be one of your your greatest thing that you need to uh focus on, okay? Um not going to keep the video long. I think I think it's been long enough. It's 30 minutes. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions, uh, please leave it in the comment section. Um, just want to do a video because I've been gone for a couple of days. But yeah, I'm going to be focused on end game units now. Like end game, end game. I'm talking about true end game, end game. Where I'm going to be just doing the same things I tell you how to do. My Hydra team, as you can see, I slowed it down a little bit to make it stable. Because... Any energy or any gym loss is a waste. So I will do 100% at all times versus 90% because I'm at that level now. If you're in the very beginning, that 90% is going to make a difference. So I say do that. But other than that, this is how it is. I'm looking forward to the Master Dial fix. I think it's going to be uh, awesome because I get to kill more. Just me personally. But yeah, my team is... Not gonna die no time soon because of Cleo. If Master Dow so happened to perish in this whole fix debacle, I'm not concerned because I have a secret unit that I'm trying to work on that's gonna be able to take his place. Wipe. Good to go. So enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Uh please support the other content creator. Because they've been holding it down when I'm not doing videos. And I thank you for watching.